just toss this in the washer. It's a little, it's a little full. Hello everybody, welcome back to our basement renovation. It's been a couple weeks since we've shared an update with the basement and today we're in the laundry room. So if you've been keeping up with this renovation, the laundry room was a project that we did it, probably a month ago now it's been like this. Um, but we didn't finish the space because we've had plans to create like a nice laundry room. That was the whole point of putting in a laundry room. If you go back in our videos at the very beginning when we were doing this renovation, we're like, should we do a laundry room? Should we not? Neither one of us grew up with a laundry room. We really don't care that much about doing laundry. So many of you guys were advocating for a laundry room. So we're like, you know what? We'll just put it in because uh, we don't plan to live here forever. One day somebody else will live here and if that many people feel strongly about a laundry room, we'll put in a laundry room. Here's the plan for what we're gonna do in here. So right now it's still a blank slate. We're changing out our washer and dryer. That'll be nice. This was original, it came with the house and we've had some technical difficulties over time uh, with the dryer. And we're gonna be doing cabinets along here, somewhere nice for storage, a uh, tall cabinet right here, I think, and then a tall cabinet in this side as well for all of the laundry supplies. This room is also really helpful because it's right off of our pool, is just on the other side of this wall here, and our hot tub. So when we come inside, it's nice to have somewhere to put your bathing suits and store extra towels and things like that. So that's kind of what the laundry room is gonna be for us. And we're also gonna be adding a cabinet over here. I want a wall wallpaper in here and just make it cute. We don't intend to spend a lot of money in this room because like I said, a laundry room isn't that important to us, but uh, we do love the process of renovating and transforming spaces. So that's what we're gonna get to today. I'm gonna build the cabinets. It's cheaper. They'll be a lot better quality. And I'm a carpenter. I'm using pre-finished birch plywood for the boxes. That way I don't have to clear coat anything. It comes finished. You just cut your pieces. All you have to do is put the edge banding on, which also comes pre-finished unfinished birch for the filler pieces, cover panels, that's all just gonna be painted. And we're probably gonna use either poplar or maple for the doors. We're gonna drill the holes for the shelf pins and I'm gonna cut the shelves and add the edge banding to those as well. And then I just have to cut the pieces for the toe kicks to attach to for the bases of the cabinets and then they're ready to get put in. Applying the edge banding, the iron works great for this. I've also had success using the little iron that comes with a Cricut cutter, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that's really an easy thing to use too. But centering it in the middle, heating it up and then it'll just stick and it just finishes the cabinets off a lot nicer than the exposed wood. Oh my gosh, can you hear us? I hope so. We invested in a second mic, so if you watched our last video, Andrew was speaking into my mic like this. Kind of like that. But now he has his own, so. Now we can just kind of talk like this, and you guys will still hear me. You can tell all your personal private secrets. Hopefully the audio is better. We've gotten a lot of comments lately that the audio is kind of sucked on our videos, which we know because we've been filming in an echoey basement, but maybe this will make things better. So bear with us. We're well, still we're, learning how we're to- We're working on it. We're, we're figuring trying. out. Well, we just got a very special delivery. Our rug is finally here, so we can add it to the basement. Also, our couch is glowing red. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, um, but that's something. Okay, we have to pull the couch back though, I think because um, like that's not gonna fit. It's too big for that space. Well, hopefully, oh, it's gonna scrape all the floor and we'll just roll it to see, right? Wow, it's a big rug. It was the biggest size that they had. I guess just give it a little push push. Yeah, right. There we go, there we go. How are we gonna put this underneath it? Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> this is way more work than it needed to be. I know.
The other day, Indra and I went out to go get wallpaper because I said how I wanted to wallpaper in this room. I had no idea how expensive wallpaper is. So I was thinking about what to do in here and then thought, why don't I just paint a mural? paint something. Um, I was looking around at the wallpapers and I was thinking how I could totally paint that. I used to paint a ton, uh, primarily pet portraits. Uh, if you've been following for a while, you might already know that, but I haven't painted in a really long time. I've actually been itching to paint. So I sketched out, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I sketched out a little idea. I've got my photo here that I'm going off of. I'm just going to go for a little flower pattern and kind of go for it and see what happens. And if I totally hate it, at least we can paint over it. I've never done this before. I've only painted on a wall one other time, but I'm hoping that this sparks the confidence I need to start painting again and maybe get into doing um, murals and wall art and things like, things like that. I think I can do it. I just need, I need to just try. Here's a better close up of kind of what I'm working with. Probably you guys will have to watch this on time lapse. Okay, let's do a <laughs> wellness check. It's been a couple hours. This is taking much longer than I thought it was gonna because I actually planned to do this wall too, but I don't know anymore. But I do like how it's looking. There's gonna be a shelf across here, I think. So I don't think I need to take it all the way up to the top. The filming stuff got busy and then I stopped painting. I used to sell pet portraits every Christmas. So if you're somebody who usually buys them, I'm sorry to tell you I'm not doing them this year. They just take way too long. Okay, this is looking really good. I think I only have a few more flowers I need to do. And I hope that my brain doesn't trick me into hating this as soon as I like step back and look at it because I've been painting for many years and I never hang my own artwork in the house because I don't want to look at it because I don't want to see it and I will convince myself that it's ugly. So I just never hang my own paintings in the house. That's nice. You like it? I like that a lot. Thanks, that babe. That's really good. Really? Yeah, it's better than wallpaper. Rise and shine. Welcome to another day of working on the laundry room. We have our washer and dryer that got delivered this morning, bright and early. And last night we went to the heiress tour and I sang my little heart out and now I don't want to do anything because my throat hurts. So the game plan for today, Andrew's in here priming this little part of the drywall. Remember how we had to cut that section out because uh, we missed something for the plumbing. Um, a little mishap. So he cut it out after the fact and then put it back in. So he's working on priming it right now, but I'm gonna keep going with the mural in the laundry room because <coughs> I shared on Instagram stories painting the little mural and you guys were so sweet and supportive. Sometimes it's like scary to share stuff like that uh, online because um, I might think it looks good in the moment, but then look at it later and be like, oh, that sucks. And then strangers on the internet will also tell you it sucks. But everybody was really, really nice. And so I was gonna just do that one wall where you last saw me painting, but uh, you guys have since inspired me to keep going. So you can see here, I got this far yesterday. This was like maybe half an hour of work. I think, maybe a little bit more. I've got the pattern down so I can just freehand it and keep going. So I'm gonna do this whole wall, which is probably gonna take me a long time. And then I was thinking about it and I'm like, oh shoot, should I be like doing these other walls too? Maybe I'll do that on another day, but I know myself and I, if I start something, I'm not gonna, if I don't finish it, I'm not gonna finish it. So this laundry room will stay like half painted if I start this and decide to be done with it. Anyway, that's the plan for today. Okay, I forgot to tell you guys before I started this project, I'm using the color Flemish Sky by Seiko. Um, it's the same color that I used upstairs in the office on our cabinets and we got it in the satin finish. So you can kind of see maybe that there's a little like sheen to it. 
and I think that that adds like the perfect detail and then like a little bit of texture that you wouldn't be able to get with wallpaper. I want to thank you guys for being so supportive of this because like I said, I get a little nervous to share my artwork on the internet because sometimes people are mean. I'm also like too sensitive, so <laughs> that's on me. Maybe I'll give you guys a little tutorial of how I'm doing this. So basically the first thing I do for these sorts of flowers is I create like a little L shape or like almost triangular shape because they can face different directions. So this flower is gonna be facing this way. And then I just kind of round out the edges really rough. These flowers are, are nice because they don't have to be perfect. So I usually start in the middle and just do kind of a petal shape, either curved, um, where's one? Where it's like really kind of curved or I'll kind of do them to more of a point. And then I'll add petals to either side of that. So however I'm feeling. So if you do fewer, it just looks like the flowers close more. So I usually do like maybe five. And then what you do is you just fill in the spaces with more petals. So one there, one there, just like that. Then you're gonna fill in the space again. Right there, there's some. Now I just go back and I add a little bit of shading. So really lightly with the brush, it's kind of feather it out a bit. That's why it's nice. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I don't feel like you need to have a lot of artistic ability to do something like this. And then for the stem, I think that this one's kind of on an angle. So I'm gonna bring it down. And the more or less pressure that you apply to the brush will determine how dark the color is or how light the color is, just like that. And then we keep going. good I'm not getting anywhere fast but I'm dodging my little helper down here so there you go oh <laughs> why don't you tell everybody what's coming today for you little special little guy brand new Kubota 2601. That's a tractor if you don't know what a 2601 is. Andrew's been wanting this Kubota tractor since we moved here pretty much and he finally saved his pennies and he bought himself one, so that's also happening today. Give it a push. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe we should switch then. Yeah, let's switch. I don't even need a washer and dryer. I'll do my laundry in the sink if I have to. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, anyway, now I gotta take some precise measurements to ensure that this is compatible with our current setup. Ew, what a nerd. Okay. <laughs> How good does this look already? I know it's taking a really long time. I guess it's not that long. And actually you sped right up now, now that you've been that, going. So by this point in the game, I'm just kind of doing any flowers I want. So I did little um, cone flowers because we love cone flowers. Love them. We love them. And uh, I'm just kind of mixing and matching and putting flowers everywhere. And I put some music on and I can just do it. But uh, I'm just so glad I didn't buy wallpaper. That would have been such a waste of money for this small space. Your hair looks like Kramer right now. Yeah, the guy messed it up. Andrew got a haircut. He goes to the same barber every time and they always give him the same haircut. But he asked for something different and look at what they gave him. The same, <laughs> it just looks like the same haircut grown out like two weeks. Okay, show them. Let's get the full, I wanna show the, <laughs> the back of your neck is on an angle. You're gonna just do it? Yeah, I don't need to be told. <laughs> I don't know what's taking so long, it's just easy. <laughs> there. There's my 
flower. That looks like Wilson from that Castaway. <laughs> hey. Volleyball. Yeah. I think we started, or I started painting at like 9 a.m. this morning, maybe even earlier than that. And it is 4.09 p.m. Holy smokes. I think it would You look, did so much though. I did do a lot. It would look nice to do a costume. Stop. No, like serious. you can't, you can't, you might as well do the ceiling too then. No, I just think like, I'm not, I'm obviously not going to get to it. But if we did, like across here would look really pretty and these walls too and behind there. But, and the ceiling, you could probably paint the tiles. But I'm starting to feel a little flower delusional at this point where I'm looking at them and I'm not even sure if they look like flowers anymore. Oh, they do. It's the last day of working on the laundry room. Today's Saturday, you guys are seeing this on Sunday. So this is as far as we're gonna get, um, whatever we get to today. But mural is looking really good. I put a little more work in last night and got this far. Uh, it'll be funny to see Andrew's little, um, it's like a where is Waldo once this is all finished painting, his one little flower he put in. I thought it was so funny. Anyways, we picked up our countertop from Home Depot and we just went with a laminate countertop. It was inexpensive, it was pretty, and it's okay to, you know, get a little bit damp if I have to put clothes and whatnot on it. And then we might get to priming today. We did pick out our paint, but I think I will reveal that in the next episode, maybe. We'll see how far we get, I don't really know. I wanna thank you guys if you've made it this far. I hope you're enjoying today's video, and let's get right into it. It's actually pretty nice quality. Um, so we're gonna cut the piece for the small cabinet and then the remainder is just gonna run long because we're gonna have a cabinet sitting on it on the other wall. So I, I usually measure the rough length. I'll put a bunch of tape down so that the melamine on top doesn't chip and then I cut it. You guys can see it here, all the different veining in it. I think it's really pretty. For a laminate counter, it's pretty nice. Nicer mm -hmm. than foam. You can, you can tell it's not stone, but it doesn't look like super cheap either. slide it down, which I don't love doing. But a little tip if you do, put a tight against your wall first so you don't dent and scratch your drywall. And then just one door here that goes like this. Yep. Underneath the shelf. That's right. Okay, I got it. Watch the ceiling and the everything actually, just watch everything. So you see how I put this here? Yeah, you're gonna fix it. Just listen. See how I put this here? Okay. And you see how you wanted the shelf this height? Yeah. So one of these paint grade pieces are gonna go from the ceiling to where the shelf goes from the ceiling down. It's gonna cover that. And I put an adjustable shelf here because the door is gonna be up to like there. All right, well, here's how far we are. Wait, I don't like that, that rhymed. <laughs> All the cabinets are built, counters are on, all your filler pieces are on, your toe kicks. We have to prime everything, paint it. I have to build the doors, prime and paint those. But other than that, I think it's really shape. great. Yeah, we are in great shape. And uh, the counter I, turned out nice. It matches did. like the wallpaper or the paint that you did. It did. It matches really well. So next Sunday, will be the reveal of the laundry room. But I'm giving you guys a heads up now. The reveal of the laundry room is going to be up on Instagram before it will be on YouTube. So if you want the exclusive look, um, it's going to be up on Instagram as of October 27th, I wanna say. I think we're really gonna love that we put a laundry room in here, especially down the road when there's kids involved to have a place to do all the laundry. I already know it's gonna be a huge blessing to have a laundry room instead of trying to do laundry in your bathroom, which is what we were formally doing. It wouldn't have been a good idea. No, but I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and we will see you guys next week for the big reveal and new videos every Sunday. Bye. Bye.